A man hit by an ATV on an Austin golf course is still in the hospital a week later. He says he's worried this will happen to someone else. As Austin police continue to investigate, KXAN's Brianna Hollis speaks with the victim from his hospital bed. He knocked me and I somersault it once or twice. Rob Vermont Vermont has time. a compound fracture in his toe. leg. His hip is broken, so is his left hand. hand. Here's how it all unfolded. While playing a golf tournament at Onion Creek on January 16th, he saw this ATV driving straight through the course. So they went by us, buzzing us, shooting the bird at us, yelling at us. When Armand was standing at the tee box on hole five, he saw them coming back. And I was waving my club down to slow down and everything. And when he got right up, to me, he turned left right into me. We went straight up in the air, did a couple somersaults, came down like a rag doll. Corey Sullivan is the one who called 911. Yeah, Rob was um, on the ground in a lot of pain. I think I would have bled out and died if I was there by myself. APD confirms Ormond was hit by an ATV on the course and sent to the hospital, but could not elaborate on a search for suspects or possible charges, citing the ongoing investigation. People who live in the neighborhood say this isn't the first time they've seen the ATV on the course. And he had been out here about three weeks ago, and he had a knit stocking over his head so you couldn't identify him. I'm afraid they're going to kill somebody. They're, they're literally going to kill somebody. In Austin, Brianna Hollis, KXAN News. We just hope they come forward. Now, witnesses are saying golf carts at the club don't go faster than 20 miles per hour, and they believe that ATV was going around 35 miles per hour. Now we wanted to know a little more about licensing and registration requirements for ATVs as this investigation continues. According to the Texas DMV, off-highway vehicles like ATVs, ROVs, UTVs, and sand rails are not eligible for registration, so this makes them difficult to track down. They can, however, be operated on roads, but they must display an off-vehicle license plate when operated on roads run by the city or county. They can only operate on roads with speed limits no more than 35 miles per hour.